Hey, Bob, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Carl, Vivian. Hey, Men's Health. That was your welcome. Uh, I know you're coming to see my gym and my fridge, so come on in. Okay, fridge first. What staples do you always have in your fridge? What I always keep in my fridge, uh, I drink a lot of kombucha after my yoga class, so I have to make sure that I have plenty of different flavors. I don't like to have just one different one. With my green juices, I try to stay away from all those real sugary ones. I, I allow myself to have like one maybe apple or uh, a beet, but not a bunch of that. Mostly I'll stick with those green ones that kind of taste like grass. I kind of like that. What's your diet mainly consist of? You're always going to find plenty of fresh uh, vegetables in my refrigerator because I am always eating vegetables whenever I can. What would we never see in your fridge? I don't keep any kind of dairy except for some not that Greek yogurt, a good source of protein for me, and uh, I can have egg whites. I know a lot of people go with the whole egg. I don't because uh, I want to add a little bit of fat. I'd rather have something else other than the yolk. What are your go-to snacks? Every time I eat, I'm thinking like, how am I getting a good source of fiber? And I really enjoy eating fruit. You know, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, really good source of fiber. What drinks could you not live without? My water bottles are something that's very, very important to me. This big one right here, this is what I carry around when I'm at home. I try to drink three of these every single day. Uh, I pee a lot. This is my special water bottle that you will be seeing in the gym with my dogs on it. This gets me through my hot yoga class when I'm in there and I'm just being tortured for 90 minutes. When it gets really rough, I look at my water bottle and I'm like, ah, oh, there's my dogs, I can do this. Any food you hate? I don't like a lot of really processed things. That's why it's like I try to keep things that are uh, whole foods. What would we never see in your fridge? You're not gonna get those like throw in the microwave type foods uh, in my refrigerator or freezer. What are your go-to snacks? I don't have a sweet tooth, I don't care about that. Give me a cheese and a cracker any day of the week. Do you cook? I love to cook. I'd much rather cook and I'll tell you why I'd rather cook. I wanna know what's in my food. When I get to cook at home, I know exactly what I'm putting in and I get to control every protein, fat, and carbs that I eat. All right, so that's pretty much my refrigerator. Now, let me tell you how much my diet has changed. Before, I was very much uh, eating high protein, high fat. I worked out like, you know, really intensely, so, and I had this voracious appetite. Now, uh, since my heart attack, I really count my macros. I really look at all my protein, fat, and carbs. I tend to stay a little low fat. I stay away from red meat. Do you have any cheat meals? If I'm gonna have a cheat meal, you know what it's gonna be? I want nachos. What's the most overrated diet? You know, I, I, I'm really clear about diets because like I could find a diet that doesn't work for me. You know, like I can't do like a keto based diet anymore, but I know a lot of people that do it. And what I say about diets is this. If you find a diet that works for you, that your doctor approves with, and that you can sustain, then I'm all for it. Because I think at the end of the day, it's about watching what you eat, how much you eat, when you eat. And I think that once you start thinking in those terms, that's when you I see longevity happening with people. What are common dieting mistakes you see people make? It's the people that go, I'm gonna go extreme. It's January, it's the first of the year. Let's, um, let's get really crazy and cut out everything. I don't like cutting out major food groups. I wanna keep a good balance of all the macronutrients. Do you drink alcohol? I try to watch my alcohol intake. Yeah, I try to watch my alcohol intake. Sometimes I like to watch it go down my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you take any supplements? I don't take a lot of supplements. I take, sometimes I would take fish oil, but sporadically, you know, vitamin D, um, a, a multivitamin, but that's pretty much it. I know that it's really difficult to get all your micronutrients from eating. 
I get it. I understand. I've talked to many nutritionists about this. I just pretty much stay au naturel, I guess you would say. What's the secret to making a protein shake taste good? I think the secret to making a protein shake taste good is a good tasting protein powder. Whatever your, uh, your liquid source is, if it's some sort of almond milk or uh, oat milk or whatever, uh, try to use like a vanilla flavored, at least for me, I really like it. I don't know, it just has a smoother taste for me. If you could choose to have a protein shake with any famous person, dead or alive, who would it be? If I could have a juice with Howard Stern, are you kidding me? That would be the biggest, funnest drink ever. What do you eat before you work out? I never eat before I work out. I, I'd much rather work out on an empty stomach, especially with doing hot yoga, man. You don't want anything in you. So speaking of working out, let me go show you the yoga studio where I sweat my ass off. So I told you I was gonna bring you to my gym. Here I am at Mode, right on 23rd and 5th Avenue. How often do you work out? I do these classes pretty much five, six days a week. That's a lot. What do you consider to be an intense workout nowadays? Um, I think an intense workout is coming into a room that is, what, 115 degrees with high humidity, standing on a mat for 90 minutes, no music, the direction is specific. It is a, <laughs> it's a mind I like the fact that I come in here and I'm doing the same thing over and over again and what it brings up emotionally, physically, every single day. What's your favorite part of your workout? Oh, my favorite part of the workout is this. You ready? <laughs> Shavasana. I get to lay here because I'm dead after one of these classes. When did you start your fitness journey? Oh my God, I started my fitness journey um, when I was in school in PE class, right? I really got obsessed when I started living in Nashville, Tennessee and there was a little studio in my neighborhood and I got in there and I just got the bug immediately. I was just like, this is something that I love doing. And that's when I packed up my car, drove to Los Angeles, California from Tennessee and started a career in the, uh, the fitness business. How do you keep your mind fit? I read a lot. I'm a voracious reader. I have gone back for the past year and a half and I've been reading the old classics like Wuthering Heights, Jane Eyre, The Fountainhead, Crime and Punishment. I've taken my brain into, uh, into that world because I never went to college. I get a lot out of them now. Advice for someone starting their fitness journey? My biggest advice that I could give anyone starting their fitness journey would be this. Don't try to change everything all at once. You cannot be Miss America, Captain America, Wonder Woman, Superman in the first week, month, or year. It's like, just start off slow, please, 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 please. If it's just eating one good thing at lunch today, avoiding that one crappy thing that you know you shouldn't have, do that one thing and you are on the path. Have you changed your workout since your health scare? My fitness has changed completely since my heart attack. I. I went from going into these crazy intense CrossFit workouts where I was just falling on the ground and just completely exhausted into a whole different path. I still feel like I get that same intensity when I'm here uh, at Bodhi because I am pushing myself mentally and physically. I don't know, I just feel like I have just a little bit more control for lack of a better word. <laughs> now it's time for rapid fire questions. Workout time, 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 a.m. Squat or deadlift? Squat. Favorite song in your playlist? <laughs> so stupid. Milkshake. CrossFit, yay or nay? Uh, CrossFit, yay, always yay. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Pull-ups. Chin-ups are easier, way, way easier. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Ooh. Dumbbells or kettlebells? Uh, I'm gonna pick kettlebells. Run on the treadmill or the great outdoors? <sighs> You're gonna hate this, run on a treadmill. I hate running outside. You'll never see me run outside. Cardio or weights? Cardio. Big legs or big arms? <laughs> big legs. Arr. Biggest compliment, jacked, ripped, swole, or cut? Uh, ripped. If you could work out with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Have you seen Hustlers? Cause she looks good. All right, you guys, men's health, you gotta go. Bye.